Hey guys, it's Amar06 here, and this is going to be the last video that I record for I don't know how long because, again, I'm recording all four of these on the same day, and I don't know what my next drawings will be. I did mention Juvia and Urza. So if I do happen to do Juvia and Urza, I'll probably counteract that with two more fairy tale males. Probably, maybe, maybe I'll do a standing rogue, so I'll like do a standing rogue in the same drawing. Or maybe I'll do Grey, maybe I'll do Gaugeo, uh, maybe I'll do Loxus. Uh, who knows? There are a uh, there are a lot of good fairy tale characters, uh, both male and female, honestly. Uh, another female that I uh, neglected to mention uh, was Kagura Mikazuchi. She's the strong. I believe. I mean, from the looks of she's she's the strongest. Uh, one in Mermaid Hill, uh, the only guild in the in Fiore in the Fiore Kingdom that's entirely female. Yeah, as in yeah, every member of the guild is female, and Kagura just happens. And for the Mermaid Hill team in the Grand Magic games, Kagura was the strongest, and and honest, and she's so strong in that. Okay, she she was giving, um, what's that guy's name? Uh, oh yeah, Leon, Leon, and um, I believe I, no, his partner wasn't Toby. It's the it's the wave guy, the one who can like shut off your magic. I uh, shut off one one's magic. I forget the name of that guy. Whatever that guy's name is, he 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 has the heavy eyebrows. He has the blue hair. Uh, He's in the same guild as Leon, which the guild is Lamia scale. Yeah, anyway, uh, she, she was wiping the floor with the two of them, and her sword was unsheathed the entire time. When she fought Urza, um, Urza used the same, the same armor she used to tank the Jupiter Blast from the Phantom, Phantom Lord. I almost said Phantom Troop because I got that because I was getting trying to fairy tale confused. The same shield she used, I think it's called like the her Arcadia armor or something like that. The same one she used to tank that Jupiter Blast. Kagura just shattered that with her unsheathed sword. And again, yeah, keep this in mind, unsheathed. So it's not, it's not, she's not even, she's not even had her, had her most powerful because she made a promise to herself. That she was only going to uh, unsheath it to kill her, her enemy, which was Jalal, because Jalal was responsible for kidnapping her brother and making him work at the Tower of Heaven, even though, in actuality, in Ultir admits this, um, Ultir manipulated Jalal into doing all of that, and, he, and she was controlling him. She was the only one behind all of that. And Ultir was manipulated by evil because she was under the impression that her mother didn't actually love her and she just abandoned her uh, out of nowhere, even though she took him to a magic, um, she took him to a place to fix her, um, fix her like m overload of magic because Ultir was born with like more magic than her body can handle, so she took her to a place that was help her but unfortunately that wasn't their objective and they reported her dead even though Ulter didn't actually die from that she did die in the series but that wasn't the reason um and she she didn't die as a kid um she she died when um the wizards of Fiori the during the dragon king festival arc she used her, she used like the ultimate arc of time magic, I forget what the name of it is. But she used it to actually reverse time by one minute. And because of that, she, uh, she didn't die. The series heavily implies that she becomes the old, she becomes a, just a really old lady. But her like natural body can only exist in, in the rift of time, uh, like, Demaria's time, the one who can freeze time, she can only exist in that. So, 
yeah. I don't know why I'm talking about Fairy Tail when I should be talking about the character prompt. So before I get out the track, so I was inspired by Jazz's Ultimate Character Design one series. I didn't do a story like he he's done for the two Ultimate Character Designs he has done, but for this one, uh, I decided to do my own prompts. So the first uh, the prompt, the four prompts are species. Uh, for this one, it's butterfly. Uh, one of them is the job slash vocation slash occupation, which is electrician. Uh, one's mood. The mood is uh, thirsty. That's why I gave her a drink. And then uh, just a specific characteristic. And for the characters, I got smart. Um, I figured if someone's an electrician, that means they have to be pretty smart and by default. So I didn't try to like add anything at best. I would have added glasses maybe, but that would have been stereotypical if I just added glasses to communicate that, that she's smart. So, um, I actually ended up just, yeah, I just left, left it be, uh, since the drawing is about the character and not what's going on in the background. I just, I just thought it was blue and blue and pink. And that was it. So I didn't do much with the background. Um, oh, I mean, by this point, I'm not sure if you guys have seen the background, but yeah, um, I didn't do too much with the background. Um, and in terms of the design, I kind of wanted an Afro looking thing, but I kind of, I guess I kind of did something similar to the uh, green m and thing, except that, like, with how I drew the strands of hair, but, um, I did differentiate it. It looks more like an afro, and that's all, that's all it's going for, because, um, in, in the doodles, two, two out of the three of the doodles were afros. One of them was her wearing a, uh, beanie, and then the hair coming out from, from, the bottom of the beam and I didn't really like that one so um I just didn't do it even though honestly not a thing but if I actually flesh that out that would that, that would look that would have looked that would have looked good as well but it is what it is so yeah I was inspired by that and that's why I used uh the spin the wheel app and I had four different wheels for these different characteristics and then I just decided to make it female uh, make them female um, I could make a different wheel to do male or female but I got them I'll, I'll just let myself to, like if if the characteristics I get if it feels like a male type of character then I'll do so if it feels like a female so yeah I'm not gonna rest I'm not gonna randomize that, but everything else will be fine. Uh, yeah, so that's that's why I did that. If you guys want me to continue this series where I just do these random things, and also I apologize, I was gonna have in the upper right hand corner uh, a video showing the the results of the wheel because I recorded it, but I guess I must have I guess I accidentally deleted it. So I can't show that, but I did definitely get Butterfly, Electrician, Smart, and Thirsty as my four things. I did definitely get those. Um, hopefully, if I do this again, I don't forget to include that in the video. Hopefully, I don't accidentally delete it. I might upload it to uh, Drive or something, so in case that ever happens again, I can just re-download it. So... There we go. This is, again, this is gonna be the fourth and last video. Uh, depending on the conditions, it's, today's either Saturday, I mean, no. Yeah, today's either Saturday or Sunday that you guys have seen this last video. And yeah, I will talk to you guys when I come up with my next drawings and I'm done with them. <laughs>